Hello, welcome to my channel Math with Nazia. In this video, we are going to learn about square and square roots. So square and square roots, there is a strong relationship between square and square roots as each of them is inverse of each other. So for example, we have three squares. Three square is nothing but nine. But square root of nine is three. So they have an inverse relationship. So let's see another example. Suppose we have 7 square. 7 square is 49. So square root of 49 is 7. So as you could see there is an inverse relationship in this. So to find square roots there are two methods to find square roots. We can either find by a prime factorization method or a long division method. So for, first let's see the prime factorization method. So now let's do the prime factorization method. So let's take the first example. Find the square root of 256. Whenever we have a number like this, we can uh, use the prime factorization method. So for prime factorization method, this is the same as we did for LCM and HCF. It's the same method. So 256, so 256 is divided by 2, so this becomes 128, 128 can be further divided by 2, from 64, 64 can be further divided by 2, so this becomes 32, 32 can be further divided by 2, so this becomes 16, and 16 can also be further divided into 2. So it becomes 8. 8 can also be further divided by 2. It becomes 4. When 4 also is further divided by 2. It becomes 2. And we can further finish this as 2 times 1. So, this is the way we do the prime factorization method. So, now square root of 256 equals square root of how many 2's we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 2's we have. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So, inside the square root I have written all the 8 2's. So, now... For every two twos, we will take one two outside. And for the next other two two, I'm going to take another two outside. For another two, I'm going to take another two. So like that, I've taken out four twos because two twos are four. So square root of four is two. So like that, I've grouped it. So now square root of 256 equals two times two times two times two, which is 16. So isn't it very easy to find out in this method? So let's see another example. So now our second example is find the square root of 729. So we have the number 729. So let's, the, let's find the square root of this. Seven hundred twenty-nine. So this is not divisible by 2 because it's not an even number. So let's see whether it is divisible by 3. I think you all know the divisibility test of 3. Yes, the divisibility test of 3 is you have to sum up the digits. So 7 plus 2 is 9, 9 plus 9 is 18. Yes, so this is divisible by 3. So I think you remember this divisibility test. I've already explained in my previous video. You can refer that and the link will be in the description. So now since this is divisible by 3, it is divisible 243 times. So now this will further be divisible by 3 because um, uh, 2 plus 4 is 6, 6 plus 3 is 9. This is further divisible so we get 81. We can further divide this with 3. So we get 27. So if we further divide this with 3, we get 9. And for further division of 9 with 3, we get a 3 here. And still this can be further divided as 3, 1. So now we have found the square root of 729. So square root of 729 equals 
square root of how many threes are there one two three four five six so we have six threes three times three times three times three times three times three so i've written six threes so as we did for the previous thing instead of two threes i'll take one three outside then instead of another two threes i'll take another three outside it's so another three so three times three times three so we have three threes here so which is 27 so the square root of 729 is 27 isn't it easy so let's see another bigger number using prime factorization method so the third example is Seven thousand two hundred and twenty-five. So I have, we have to find a square root of a bigger number. So let's see how to find the square root of seven thousand two hundred and twenty-five. So let me write that number here. So seven thousand two twenty-five. As you could see, the last number is five. So we can easily tell that this number is divisible by five. So this I have already taught you in the divisibility rule. You can refer that video for the divisibility test. So now 5 divided by 7,225. This becomes 1, 4, and then again 4, and then this is a 5. So we have got 1,445, and I'll further divide this again by 5 since the last number is 5. This becomes 2, 8, and 9. So when I further divide this, this will be divisible by 17. 17 times 17 is 289. So this will be further divisible by 17. So 1. So now we have got the square root of 7225, which is equal to square root of 5 times 5 times 17 times 17. So see here we have two different numbers. So for this also we will do the same thing. We will take instead of two fives, we will take one five outside. And instead of two seventeens, I'll take one seventeen outside. So fifteen mm, sorry, seventeen times five. Seventeen times five is eighty-five. So the square root of seven thousand two hundred and twenty-five is eighty-five. Isn't it easy to find the square root by prime factorization method? So if you have any queries regarding this. Uh, topic you can comment down in the comment section and for more tips and tricks do like and subscribe to my channel thank you